Uh, the exciting bit is the improvisation. So it's about real time improvisation with a robot. Uh, so it's like playing music with something which is not human and then it plays as well as human or even better. So that's the exciting bit. Hi, uh, I'm Tejas uh, and the title of my 3MT is uh, Training Indian Classical Music to a Robot that Plays a Marimba. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about my master's thesis research, which is about this robot called Shimon. Shimon has four arms and it plays the marimba, as you can see in the picture. My particular research trains Shimon to play Indian classical music. But before I get into why and how of that, I'm going to talk a little bit about how Shimon works. Shimon has something called an artificial neural network, which is similar to the natural neural networks that our brains have and it helps Shimon recognize patterns in the music that it listens to. With an understanding of music and the patterns, Shimon is able to interact with other musicians and perform with them in real time. Now, music has patterns at various levels. There are notes, sections, phrases, melodies, chords, rhythms, and so on. When it comes to Indian classical music, these patterns manifest themselves in a very nice blend of free flow and structure which when put together leads to very precise emotional states. With an understanding of these precise emotional states, Shimon's artificial neural network gets the intuition to recognize the existing patterns, as well as the ability to create its own patterns which Shimon puts together to play music on the marimba. Now there's a very interesting interplay that happens between the mind and the body of Shimon. The mind is nothing but the artificial neural network, and the body is nothing but the four arms. In a way, the mind controls the body by deciding what the body should play, and the body controls the mind by setting limitations on what the mind can come up with. This is similar to how the human mind is capable of extraordinary imagination, but the limitations of our physicality actually determine what is possible in reality. reality. To summarize, my research uses Indian classical music and Shimon to bring about an emotional question emotional quotient in an artificially intelligent system. Now this research has a very wide variety of applications in a lot of domains that involve artificially intelligent products and services that aspire to be emotionally smart. With such an emotional intelligence, we can dramatically change the way our machines interact with us, thus improving our experience of using them. Thank you.